Hi everybody, today I have the K-Mag HB1. If you have seen my reviews before, you might be asking yourself, didn't you review the speaker once before, like a year ago? No, well, yes. <laughs> they released a new version in October of 2024, called it the same model number, so here we are again. The K-Mag HB1 has an incredibly durable body. It's a single, just solid hunk of plastic that feels like it's indestructible. It has dual two and a half inch full range 40 watt drivers for a total of 80 watts and dual passive radiators in the back. All the sensitive parts are covered by these metal speaker grills. You have nothing to worry about in terms of durability. And just look at these controls, big buttons, clearly labeled, thank you. Did you happen to notice the RGB lighting system with its 10 brilliant colors and seven lighting modes? They nicknamed this speaker the Owl. In the rear of the speaker, we have a rubber plug covering the access ports, including the USB-C charging port, a U-Drive port, and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port. Now the U-Drive port can be used as a power bank to charge your external devices. This speaker has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It charges in about five hours and they say you can get 20 hours of playback. Now they measure that at 50% volume. So you're not getting that because you're going to want to listen to this loud. And yes, this speaker is loud. I think that is what they changed in October. And perhaps the only thing they changed was the strength of the amplifier. It went from 30 watts per channel to 40 watts per channel. But is it better? I don't know, it's definitely louder, but after about 75% volume, you start to lose clarity. The deepest of bass will begin to distort. The highest frequencies get a little harsh. I think it sounds best at 75% volume or less. And yes, it has a bass boost button, but you probably don't need it. This speaker has so much bass, out of the box without it. You do not need to use it under most circumstances. Um, you probably don't even want to use it. Even the most ardent of bass lovers probably don't need this button. Yes, it does have TWS mode. If 80 watts just isn't enough, you can wirelessly connect a second HB1 for 160 watts of mayhem. Don't like black? It also comes in silver, blue, pink, teal, or green. How do I rate the KMAG HB1 October 2024 version? This is still the bargain of the century. It has a beautiful RGB. Look at these uh, incredibly easy to use controls. Uh, boomy bass, very loud. TWS mode. IP67 waterproof, I forgot to mention that. It's, throw this in your car, so durable. Get two of these for TWS. There is no reason not to buy this speaker. It is a fantastic value. Five out of five, thanks for stopping by.